dudes, John here, and welcome to another tutorial video on how to install Minecraft. This time I'm going to be doing it on Mac. I've been asked a few times on how do you install it on Mac. It's not much different than doing it on PC, but there's a few different folder moves and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. It's really, really freaking simple again, but nonetheless, I'm going to show you guys where to find different folders and how to install mods and make make sure everything is where you want it to work. Yeah. So um, I'm working on my, my Mac, which is right here to my right. So I'm going to be looking a little bit off to the side as opposed to direct, dead ahead of me. But yay. OK, so I got the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, you need to install Forge, right? Uh, well, actually, the first thing you need to do is install Minecraft. If you don't have Minecraft installed, uh, the Java version of Minecraft, then uh, do that. <laughs> First thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to need to install Forge right here. See, but Forge, this is where you go to install Forge. Don't go to any other website. There are a few other websites that have safe versions of this. It's just pointless. There's no, no need to go to any other website to get it other than from the files.minecraftforge.net. This is where I would go. Uh, this is where I recommend you go only because it's a little bit safer than anywhere else. So I want to install Forge for uh, 1.2. Uh, even though we do have 1.2.1 that just came out, yay. Uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's, I think, bug fixes for the most part. But we're going to go ahead and install this. And because we're installing for Mac, we're not installing a Windows installer. You're going to click this installer right here on the right-hand side. And this is the most current one, this 0.2443. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to take you to this other window. Don't click anything on the bottom here. Even if something pops up like this window, don't do it. Uh, wait till it says skip in the top right hand corner and I'm going to go ahead and click skip and it's going to automatically install for or download forge for me. Now, again, I'm using Chrome, so it's installing it in my bottom left hand corner. So I see it right here and it's going to ask me if I want it to discard or keep it. If you're using Internet Edge or uh, uh, inter what I call Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, um, it will ask you across the top, I believe, do you want to keep this folder uh, file or do you want to get rid of it because it may harm your computer? I'm going to say keep it because I know it won't harm my machine. So now it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and open up my finder and I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go to my downloads and it's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run forge from here. I'm going to double click that. It's going to uh, let's see, cannot open because it is from an unidentified source. Okay, so Max on by default, they have this thing with uh, securities which lock out apps that are unknown. So what you have to do uh, is go into your settings, system security here. I'm going to go to my security and privacy. Now, if it doesn't give you this warning, you don't have to do this step. This is only if you have it set to default. I have mine set to default because... I want to make sure apps that are un unrecognized by me to not install on my Mac and damage my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and double click security and privacy. And then I'm in my security and privacy folder right here. I'm going to say, uh, it's going to tell me, it's going to tell me which uh, file I was trying to, that was blocked. And I'm just going to say open anyways, I can go ahead and unlock this and tell it to allow software temporarily and do that. But in the new version of the iOS, it allows you just to say, go ahead and open anyway. And I'm going to say open and it will go ahead and allow me to install the file. So it's going to ask me if I want to install client. I'm going to say, uh, yep, I want to install client. I'm not installing server. If you guys are interested in how to install a Forge server for local LAN games, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If we get a few, uh, few comments on it, maybe we'll go ahead and do that. It's a little more challenging, but nonetheless, it's still really easy. Okay, we'll go ahead and say, okay. It's going to go ahead and download and install all of our wonderful things that we need with Forge and say, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close my security and privacy. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Perfect. So now we're going to go back to our uh, browser and I'm going to go to, I'm gonna, you can close this window as well. Now I'm going to go and download the mods. We need mods, right? We can't just have forge. Forge is useless without mods. Let's go ahead. And I like to use curse for mods for a few reasons, actually. First one being that uh, there's no viruses on curse. Uh, meaning that maybe I can't say there's no, there's going to be a far fewer batch, small, tiny little niches of viruses or malware or, or whatever it may be on curse only because curse was bought out by Twitch a few months ago. And then Twitch was bought out by Amazon. And I guarantee that Amazon doesn't want you to have viruses. So it's a really safe place to download things. If you go to other sites, some of them have more mods than here, but not by many. Quite honestly, they curse 
tends to carry almost every mod that is known to Minecraft, plus other games, obviously, as you can see here, um, and including texture packs, uh, maps, worlds, mod packs, and stuff like that as well. Uh, but right now we're just doing mods. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click on mods over here. Uh, and I'm going to, again, I'll put a link in the description below to both Forge, uh, to uh, to Forge, to Minecraft, and to our mods uh, file here for Curse, which is basically just mods.curse.com. But anyway, so we're here. We're on this wonderful website. And we're going to be searching specifically for mods that match Forge. Now, if you installed Forge for, say, 1.10.2, like 1.10.2, then you have to find mods for 1.10.2. Right here in the game version, you would select 1.10.2, but we just downloaded a Forge for 1.12. So I'm gonna find mods for 1.12. And my favorite mod, quite honestly, other than uh, Tinker's Construct, actually is uh, just enough items. So let's go ahead and we're gonna download a couple mods. Now, if I download Tinker's Construct, I will also need a library installed with it as well, which is basically just another mod, which is called Mantle. So you need Mantle to run with Tinker's Construct, and then just enough items can run by itself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna download all three of those, and I'm gonna get them all to run all at the same time. So I'm gonna do just enough items being probably one of my favorite tools in Minecraft because it shows you all the list of all the different things you can build and the recipes to all those items because. Sometimes when you get so many mods in Minecraft, it becomes really, really challenging to just to try to assume you know how to build something. Things change really quick when you install mods. So this library, this just enough items library is key to making sure you build things uh, fast, quickly, knowing how to do it. You don't have to research as much. You just figure it out on your own because you're smart like that. So I clicked on the, the link right here. If you, oh here, let me go back real quick. If I click on just the J, it just pops up the logo, which is really weird. I don't know why it does that. I, I don't think anybody wants just the logo. It's the dumbest link in the world. It's the only thing I think Curse needs to fix. Other than that, just click on the name right here, Just Enough Items, and it'll take you to the page. You can scroll down, it'll tell you what's included. At the very bottom here, it'll tell you if you need other mods uh, attached with it. This one doesn't. So up at the very top right-hand corner over here, um, it just has a download now, but I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then it's going to take me to a page. It's going to count down from three, two to one, and then it'll automatically download it. Asking me once again, do I want to keep this mod or this file? Really? It's going to harm your computer. It's not going to harm my computer. So I'm going to say keep. So now it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to go back one more time and back again, because I want to download Tinker's Construct. So I'm going to click on Tinker's Construct. Tinker's Construct is probably one of my favorite usable mods in um, all of Minecraft, only because you can build amazing tools, you get some amazing ores, uh, so it adds to the world. Plus you get these cool little slime islands up there, cool things to explore and other plants and whatnot. Fun stuff, uh, very, very enjoyable to have in the game of Minecraft. So again, it takes me to another page. It's very, very similar to the Just Enough Items one. It should tell me that I need Mantle. Why isn't it telling me? So that's really strange. It's not telling me that I need Mantle, but nonetheless, you will need it. This is just a guarantee. So I'm going to go ahead and say download now. And it's going to account again from three, two, one, and then uh, download it. And then it's going to ask me once again, do I want to keep it? And I will say keep. I'm going to say back and back one more time. And I'm going to install. Now I want to download Mantle. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this folder or the file or the, the browser for now. I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, my Finder. And I'm going to go to my downloads and the three files I just downloaded are right here. I'm going to drag them to my desktop just so I know where they're at. Now I want to put them, I'm going to set them aside over here. I usually have a folder on my desktop for Minecraft mods. I don't tend to use my uh, Mac, this Mac in particular for mod, for modded Minecraft very much anymore. Um, I, I mostly use my PC, my, uh, my Alienware. Anyway, so now we need to put these in the proper folder. So you're going to hold down shift command g and i'll put that right here on the screen so you guys can see that then i'm going to type in this string right here you're going to type in the little tildes which is a little squiggly line to the left hand side of the number one uh the very top left corner of the keyboard you're going to type in slash it's backwards i think it's this slash for you guys uh slash library slash application support with a space in between application and support and then another slash is a forward slash um, and it's going to say Minecraft and it's going to take you to this folder right here. I'll put 
the, the entire string in the comment section below. So all you guys have to do is copy it and paste it into the finder and it'll pull up exactly what you're looking for. Now, because we installed Forge, it automatically installed this folder right here, this mods folder, right? I'm gonna remove this mods folder and I'm gonna assume that, you know what? It magically didn't appear. So this is just, stay there. We're gonna pretend it's not there, right? I'm gonna go to a blank spot on the folder, like down here below versions, and I'll hold down control and I'll tap, or if I'm using a mouse, I'll right click, and then I'll say new folder. New folder, M-O-D-S, spelled just like that, no capitals, no nothing. Minecraft and Forge will find it just fine. So now I'm gonna open it up, there's nothing in it. I'm gonna drag my three mods directly into that folder. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up that folder, making sure that they're there. All right, there they are. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and close this folder out and, <clears throat> excuse me, and we can go ahead and run Minecraft. With a new launcher, it's not going to automatically, I don't believe it's going to automatically pull up the Forge version for 1.12. So what I'll have to do is I'll go up to this section here where it says launch options. I'll select launch options and I'm gonna add a new launch option. I'm gonna go to my list here. So again, I'm gonna go back to, let's go back to the beginning here. I'll click on launch options, right? And then I'm gonna click on add new at the very top. And then where it says versions right here, it's gonna be the latest version is gonna be the most one that's gonna be selected unless you played another version before that. So it'll be whatever version you selected last. At the very bottom of this list, if you scroll down to this dropdown, uh, Forge 1.12 should be one of the options. There it is, Forge 1.12. And I'm gonna type in for the name, I'm gonna type in Forge 1.12 just for my naming convention so I know what I'm looking for. Okay, so now uh, that we have the option selected, I can go ahead and click on the Minecraft logo again. That's gonna bring me back to the front page. And I'm gonna click on this little up arrow to next to play. Don't click play yet. And I'm gonna find the version we just added. It should just be Forge 1.2. There it is at the very bottom. I'm gonna say play. Very, very simple. Now it's gonna go ahead and run. If there are no errors, if it has no problems, it should just load up. If it has a problem, that means we're missing something or it's not gonna work with our machine. It'll give us a brown window with a, like the Minecraft dirt background. And it'll give us, it'll throw up an error. Materials in you. Go game mode one. And hit E, there it is. There you go, dudes, check it out. There's just enough items on the, on the right hand side. There is Tinker's Construct running beautifully. And that's basically the gist of it, guys. I mean, that's about it, dudes. Uh, that's how you install mods on a Mac. Pretty straightforward. Again, I'll put all the links in the description below to everything, including that script that we that you need to get into uh, the Minecraft folder. But uh, yeah, dudes, if you guys did like this video and you found it easy to use, please give me a big fat thumbs up down below. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> and if you're at all new to this channel, if you guys can click the subscribe button, it helps the channel out a great deal. And while you're at it, if you click the little bell, it turns on notifications and lets you dudes do that to know when we upload our daily videos. Until next time, guys, see ya.